The murder rate in the city of St. Louis is already outpacing the past two years, and the past two years were bad to begin with. But one long promised program could be having some early success in reducing crime and saving lives. We've talked a lot about cure violence in the past few years, as city leaders have struggled to roll out this national program right here in St. Louis. Our Casey Nolan reports there are new numbers out that supporters say show the work is paying off. Casey's live in the Dutchtown neighborhood. Well, and six months ago, it might not have been a good idea to stand on this corner at 10 o'clock at night, but the stats say things have changed and neighbors agree. Talk to people who live in Dutchtown today, and it's not hard to hear what the yard signs are trying to say. There's more momentum in this neighborhood today than I've seen in the last 10 years. You know, the first thing that everybody brings up is the community. But there is also a history of crime in this South City neighborhood. I was worried about the reputation of the neighborhood. This past November, St. Louis started the Cure Violence Program in Dutchtown, one of the first three areas in the city to see the crime prevention plan. Cure Violence employs so-called violence interrupters to help defuse disputes before they turn deadly and empowers those interrupters to offer people resources like help finding work. The need was obviously there. I think all of us living here saw that, uh, certainly felt it, you know, so we were pretty excited to have um, I suppose a new approach, you know, to dealing with crime. Wednesday, the St. Louis Health Department put out numbers on crime from the three cure violence areas in the city. Dutchtown, the Wells Goodfellow, Hamilton Heights neighborhoods, and the Walnut Park neighborhood. In all three areas, violent crime is down compared to the past five years, year to date. And in Dutchtown, the interrupters who don't talk on camera have stopped 81 incidents in less than seven months, according to the health department all part of the turnaround, people here say. I think it's really important that you have people who just understand the game, they understand the attitudes and what's going on out here, and sometimes that may not always be taught in police training. Results, I think, speak for themselves. You know, I mean, I've been really invigorated with the Cure Violence team and the violence interrupters since they started because they've been so engaged to the neighborhood, they've been so engaged to the community. We know city living is just city living, but we still feel safe. There's crime that happens, but we still feel safe. But you can't do any story about success in crime and not talk about the number that really stands out that Ann mentioned. We already have more murders this year than at this point in the year, in the past two years, and those past two years were not good. Well, both the mayor's office and board president, Lewis Reed, say that they would like to see Cure violence expanded, and they hope they can get more money to bring it to more parts of the city. Live in Dutchtown, Casey Nolan, five on your side. St. Louis.